stories, I would say. <laughs> Uh, because uh, everything we, we we do is is based on on stories about uh, what we expect from the future and what we would like the world uh, to be. Uh, and there, uh, I feel that uh, sometimes it's what we miss, you know, uh, stories that are, are agreed by uh, most of the people in society or all of the people in society about our own future. So what? kind of uh, transportation system uh, do we want in a city, uh, what kind of mobility, why should we move, uh, and uh, with what kind of uh, transport, uh, um, what do we eat, uh, what is our food, how is it produced, uh, how is it distributed, um, uh, climate, you know, this question about uh, uh, change in climate. Uh, what is it exactly? Uh, how can we mitigate it? Uh, so many questions like that, and the answers to these questions have to proceed from uh, a story that we would like to be as beautiful as possible for us all. But also, I'm looking broader. Uh, I'm part of a Colombian university, but I'm a Colombian, and uh, in our system. Mm -hmm. There is a lack of uh, conscious about responsible research and innovation. So I see this project as a big, big opportunity for the country to have better practices to impact public policy. And we have a close connection with our national entities in charge of science for Colombia and then from that to Latin America, because it's a new topic for Latin America as well. Sharing the knowledge to be part of the great team, to um, provide some, uh, some ideas for our brainstormings and then to be part of the implementation of the results. As from my personal point of view, the implementation of the results, especially for the uh, 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 industrial leadership package I, I, I'm part of, it, it's very, very important, not only to prepare the new, new horizon uh, or uh, frame uh, program line, but uh, to implement all the results into national innovation systems. And, and as we in Czech Republic, uh, on the technology agency, do the implementation of the ways how to uh, do the innovation more e effective. Mm -hmm. So uh, here is a platform, how to find next tools, to be more useful for the society. How to concretely have an impact on, on research and innovation by understanding the different needs. Because we have Marie Curie, we have the industrial sectors, we have different energy, food and whatever. And it's a, it's a good question. How do you apply one abstract scheme notion to different domains that have different needs and different, uh, different logics in a way? So for me, it, I think this could be a really interesting outcome to understand a bit more about uh, the different needs in research. Yeah. I think RI is a great uh, connecting concept which researchers and other stakeholders, so all that participate in research, uh, can work together and uh, involve society. So I would really like if this will work in the future that society sees the importance of research, is actually supporting research, and also feels the benefits of research. So for me, that's the most important thing, that why RI uh, could exist, and I hope why it's going to be pursued. For me, the interesting part about uh, RI is um, this notion of um, uh, transformation, transforming processes of research and innovation towards um, certain goals that uh, reach clearly beyond the confines of, of a certain uh, scientific community, um, um, reaches beyond academia, really tries to make, uh, to have impact on, on society and the economy. We will learn how to communicate the topic and how to get the stakeholders involved and as soon as we get the stakeholders involved we can start with doing uh, more responsible research and innovation. And it's to happen soon. Of course it will make it so much better if we feel that we will take care 
of each other. So it's it's more like that we are not only responsible for ourselves, but we are responsible for uh, the broader community uh, and even in the global level. So I think that is it's it's the more most important issue in, in RRI is that it goes beyond regulations and legal issues. So it's more like the attitude of care, caring and sharing. For me personally, I think having observed the reluctance to really embrace societal relevance or societal impact as a, as a responsibility of your own as a researcher, uh, uh, I feel that it is almost like a battle that you have, you go out on the on the battlefield and you have to convince people one by one. So what I see this project is uh, is going to do is it's going out on the battlefield and it's going to address a lot of people uh, to engage with RRI principles in all sorts of aspects and ways and to convince them on the battlefield that it is important and that it is there is something in it for them and that it will make their world more interesting. So I think what it eventually will bring is a bigger community of people who really understand what it means responsible research and innovation because what I've experienced so far that everyone that I took the time to explain and debate about it in the end and, and, and let them experience it in the end they said oh yes oh, actually it's a good idea to do it. but it's a one by one battle it's not something to write a piece about and then everybody says, oh yes we should do this so it's basically about translating this whole this this policy concept which it basically is into something that is practical to everyone or practical to researchers of course not everyone we probably will have the first 33 uh, percent get them on board first and then maybe there's the second group lagging behind and there will be a third group who won't be interested at all but then eventually we should get on board the young ones as well so that requires the change of the system i think ri might be the first step towards many different issues like getting people, citizens involved into science is maybe one of the main pillars of seeking gender equality. And I, I can start with all the five keys the Commission is giving us, but in principle, RI might not be the thing to make the world a better place, but it will start making things better. The more people who are not aware of, of RI or who, who are far away from discussion or who have fears, I mean, the, the most People we can reach uh, who are outside those circles, the research or innovation circles. This would this would be the best, especially those who are who have the more the people who vote for, let's say, extreme rights or the people who are strongly against science or against who fear this technological developments. If we manage to to reach those people and that these people bring something to the project, so that that would be wonderful. There is one risk at the moment with responsible innovation as it is implemented in the European at the European level and that built that it becomes part of the bureaucracy so sustainability becomes a checkbox open access gender we can take care of public engage a little bit diff, more difficult but okay we can we, we organize a workshop we even hire a so, social scientist to take care of that ethics okay we install an ethical board so that it becomes instrumentalized as part of the bureaucracy that that is not engaging people really while what we want to achieve with publicly funded research is that researchers become more uh, aware and more responsive to uh, societal needs for instance that they really anticipate and reflect on the impact of what they are doing so it is it is not a free exercise it is not a part of the of the bureaucracy and and what i would be what i would really appreciate as outcome of this whole project is that we develop strategies and narratives how to engage really uh, in responsible innovation how it can be part of the mainstream and how and, and contribute to this transition and of course then we need the keys for instance to operationalize actual behavior and gender issues and sustainability is an easy indicator whether 
a project is on the right track or not. But, but, but we shouldn't forget that it's an operationalization or an indicator of something which is more has to do with the research team itself and with the, and the engagement and awareness of the research team. And, and I really hope that, that we can that we contribute to that second level as well. I think for me personally, it's uh, this is a huge project. This is uh, a, a lot of uh, research money and it's a lot of uh, people and it's uh, uh, who are who will be involved in the project, not only at the researchers level, but if we are doing all the social labs, um, this will really um, involve hundreds of people, and we are going to um, inter try to intervene into the into a funding program, into a huge European funding program, which might also have an impact on national national funding program, and we really can experiment in a in a wide variety of. Uh, of funding schemes and topics, I mean, re reaching from uh, basic research to implementation to innovation in industry, from science, uh, social science and humanities to engineering to natural sciences. Um, so we can try out what does RI mean in these different uh, in these different uh, areas, in these different disciplines, and. Um, to see and to have really an impact on that uh, will be very challenging and very exciting.